and it will be a place both of reflection, a place of memorial. Plans this big. Captain Mike, can I have you for a minute? Don't come together overnight. Today's the 10th. Every calendar in the Narcosis dive shop points to the same long-awaited moment. The placement's going to happen the week before. Joyce Hanasek owns Narcosis, a place that loves red and white almost as much as red, white, and blue. My father is a disabled vet from the Vietnam War. Well, I spent 13 years in the military. Nearly everyone here has a military past, which is why the next dive might already be their favorite. I'm absolutely looking forward to this. Welcome to a very exciting day here in Pinellas County, the state of Florida, and frankly, for the country. In February 2018, a small ceremony put a face to the mission. The circle of heroes will include 24 of the statues that you will soon see behind us. Three, two, one. Four statues were unveiled. Wow. Military men. People are going to come to see this. Joyce was there, emotional, after seeing the life-size figures for the first time. They're incredible. The detail, look at this. The detail is incredible. All faces. I can't wait to show these pictures to my father. Destined for the deep. I can't wait to take some veterans out here, especially the guys who've been injured in battle. The wait is over for boat captain Mike Fox, a Navy man who served in Desert Storm. Just memories. You know, my dad served, my son's about to serve. This is important stuff. It's important to Sean Campbell, too, a 13 year Army vet and combat medic. No clip behind you, Sean. No clip. No clip. Just 40 feet from seeing the circle of heroes for the first time. We got to see them pretty up close before they went in the water. It was just sad thinking about the guys who don't come back. Yeah, I haven't seen this before. It really takes your breath away. What took years of planning has finally come together. 12 statues standing in a ring of remembrance. Wow, that's amazing. A place honoring the men and women who gave it all for our freedoms. At first I was just kind of really impressed with everything and I was enjoying the statues. They try to represent everyone and give everyone their, their proper respect that they do deserve. And I think it's a, I think it's a really moving thing um, in this environment. It was tough to get it done. But now it's done, so God bless the people who did it. That oh, was amazing. It was uh definitely hit you at home when you see it um, just like that. You know, especially especially the soldiers cross, you know, it really hit me. Had to take a minute and remember the people who couldn't be here enjoying this like I could. So it was uh it was beautiful.